Hey guys and happy Sunday. So I just wanted to hop on. I have several hauls to film, but today I can only possibly make one. So I picked a new to me vendor since a lot of people have been talking about this vendor recently. And I was just like, you know, I did a pre-order and so completely forgot about it um, until recently when people started receiving theirs because it's about an eight week turnaround time, which is typical for vendors. So I didn't go crazy because what I've been trying to do, and I've, if you've watched any of my other videos, is if it's a new to me vendor, I've been trying not to go crazy with the purchase. Um, so I just did uh, like one souffle and then a few shapes. So let's get into it. So this is Britta's Creepy Treasures, and it is my first time uh, new to me vendor haul. So I wanted to share with you all that I got. I got a mixture of things. I got a mixture of like, you know, fall slash Halloween scents, as well as some like Christmassy type uh, tree scents with bakery. So I figured let's try to do a little bit of both and kind of get a feel for some fall fragrance and some um, like winter Christmas type fall uh, fragrance. So let's just get into it. So I came practice. Uh, packaged really nicely. It was all in orange tissue paper and everything was beautifully packaged with then like little squigglies on top. Um, but here is my haul. So my daughter was quick to dive in there and go through it. So we'll, I'll start off with the one souffle that I did get because I thought that is what I'd like the most. Um, and so this is the souffle. It's a uh, really nice pink it kind of matches my shirt a little bit and this is there here it was poured on 811 and this is sugar cookie royale and cotton candy frosting so really cute packaging too or I should say label and like I said I just got one of these I don't know if I can pop it out because I know sometimes they're layered this one's really in there but super super um super strong on the cotton candy I don't really get any sugar cookie. All I'm really getting is, actually, I lied. If you rub it, you get the sugar cookie royale. So I figured I'd like this one since I really am enjoying sugar cookie royale oil and lately also been a fan of the cotton candy frosting from Rose Girls. So this is called there here. So just got a little souffle. And that was the only souffle that I got. The rest I got were shapes. So we'll just go first off um, with my favorite one. <laughs> um, yes, and I already sniffed through them. This is Kim's Special Eggnog, and it's really cute ghosts. Look at how layered, really pretty. And this is scent notes of eggnog and roasted pine cones poured on 9.6. And this is great. Like super, super sweet. If you like eggnog scents, this is amazing. I probably should have got this one in a souffle and I think I debated about getting this one in a souffle, but really, really sweet. And then the pine cones just kind of take, the roasted pine cones take it down just slightly so it's not as super sweet. So if you really like, um, what is that scent? I wanna say it's pine cones and spice. Maybe it's pine cones and spice from um, no, what is that one? Is it pine cones and spice from lavender speckles? If you like pine cones and spice, that roasted pine cone note, you'll like this. But this eggnog really ties it all together and makes it super, super sweet. So if you like eggnog scents, I highly recommend that. So that's Kim's special eggnog. I'm actually seeing, I think she's got an RTS or something. I, I know, um, a part of our group uh, from Round Robin, we've all been chatting, and this is definitely one that I highly recommend if you like eggnog and pine cones. So I think I might have to get more of that, but I don't need more than that. Um, okay, another one is Necessity of Life is Cookies. That's another ghost layered, and this is Gingerbread Hansel and Gretel and Mrs. Claus Cookies poured on 9.6. So immediately when I open it, I don't know if Hansel and Gretel kind of smells like maple syrupy, like really super sweet with syrup. So I don't know if that's the gingerbread or the Hansel and Gretel or Miss Claus cookies. I know Maggie oh, uh, Jay orders from these uh, this vendor quite often and I don't know what the oil mixture is, but this one's pretty good too. It's super sweet though. So you have to like maple, sweet, 
kind of gingerbread scents. And so I, I've been trying to find a good gingerbread scent. Um, Cause Sensi just does not have a good gingerbread. So yeah, I mean, it, it's nice. Um, it's definitely different. Um, so I'm glad I got it to try. So that's necessity is like this piece. All right, another one that I got um, that is really good is the Frozen Ghost. And this is Icy Peppermint, Crackling Birch, and Yellow Cake poured on 9-13-2023. And again, another layered ghost. And right off the bat, you get the peppermint, like totally icy, slam in your face. If you like Rose Girls peppermint, this is what it smells like. And so I don't really get, I mean, once that kind of like, cause it, as soon as you take the first breath, it kind of like goes into your throat. If you have ever had an Altoid. Um, so as soon as that kind of tones down, you get that crackling birch, similar to um, Second and Spruce's crackling birch. And very, very, very light yellow cake, like very hint, like super hint. The icy peppermint and crackling birch kind of overpower it, but curious to see how that does when it warms. So another really good one. Okay, um, let's see what's next. Then I got Christmas Eve, which is Fraser Fur, Danish butter cookies and sugar cookie royale, poured on 811. And this one's really cute. Look, it's got four layers. Um, and so I wanted to see what since I really like Christmas trees and cream and kind of like those scents. And so right off the bat, you get like a cookie note, like a crumbled cookie note with the pine um, or the Fraser fir. Yeah, it's definitely good. Yeah, and as you continue to sniff it, the butter cookie comes out, but that Fraser Fur packs the punch right when you take an inhale of it. So really different, eager to try it out, but look at how cute the layers are. I don't wanna take it out because I'm afraid that I won't be able to get it back in the bag. <laughs> All right, another Christmas one that I got was Elf Snacks, and this is Sugar Cookie Royale. Cinnamon sugar cookie and nutmeg spice poured on 9-13-2023. And this is cute, it's red, white, and green. And this one is more um, sugar cookie, cinnamon spice. So if you want like a Christmas cookie kind of scent that is not with tree, this one is really good. This is definitely a sweet cinnamon sugar. This one, cinnamon sugar is good because I don't like a lot of Rose Girl cinnamon lately. I'm noticing that. So a lot of the group that I've been chatting with is going to get a lot of my cinnamon and um, apple fritter because I don't like that one either. <laughs> This is really nice. You definitely get the cinnamon sugar cookie and nutmeg spice. That one's really good. I think I might have to get more of that one too. So that's Elf Snacks. Really cute again. Adorable. All right. Let me see. Another uh, Christmas one that I got is Krampus. And this is Lavender Winter Nights Icy Peppermint and Vanilla Ice Cream. Poured on 8-11-2023. So cute. So right off the bat, you still get that icy peppermint, but it's not as strong because the lavender is toning it down. I don't really get anything else other than lavender and peppermint. So I'm curious to see if like maybe that vanilla will turn it, you know, tone it down as it warms. But this one's okay. It's very herbal lavender, not a creamy lavender. So you have to really like lavender to get this one. So I'm eager to try it out, but really pretty colors as usual. All right, another one is North Pole Predator. This is eggnog, pumpkin buttercream, and yellow cake poured on 9 7 2023. Another four layers, really different. And this, you get maybe it's the buttercream. I, I get a hint of pumpkin and the eggnog. I'm not getting much yellow cake. Um, this is really, really sweet. Really, really creamy, sweet. I still like Kim's special eggnog better if you like eggnog, but nonetheless, if you like eggnog, give this one a try. Um, but you definitely have to like like strong, sweet, buttercream kind of scents for this one. I think that's it for Christmas. Let me see what else. Um, another one, Santa's been poisoned. This is sugar cookie royale, sugar cookie dough. Peanut butter cookies and chocolate chip cookie dough poured on 9-13-2023. And 
And I think this is just, yeah, two layers. And this is, if you like chocolate chip cookies, this is like nailed it chocolate chip with a really nice sugar cookie dough at the end. But all I get right off the bat in the first note is the, the chocolate chip cookie. Definitely sweet. Um, definitely a good cookie scent. So glad I tried that one. I was on the fence about this one, I think, when I ordered it. Now that if I remember, I was like, I don't know if it's going to be too cookie-y, too cookie if that makes sense. Um, all right, I think the rest are like Halloween-ish. Um, so this one is Scary Birthday to You, Yellow Cake, Zucchini Bread, and Bourbon Sauce. Cute skulls. Now we're getting to the skulls. And right off the bat, I get a creamy zucchini bread. So you really have to like the zucchini oil. Zucchini bread oil. It's nice. Um, and you get the yellow cake, the sweetness of the yellow cake. So I'm eager to see if when it warms. I, sometimes zucchini bread comes off kind of offensive to me. Like I have, I'm very picky about my zucchini breads, if that makes sense. Um, but I'm eager to try that one out. All right, another one is sugar and spite, and this is apple, cinnamon donuts, cinnamon glaze, baklava, and very vanilla. So this is poured on 913, 2023. I like this one. These colors are awesome. And this one is very, very, you get a very sweet cider note. Um, I don't really, I mean, I don't really get much donut. I really am just getting the, like an apple cinnamon. Maybe that's a baklava. I've never smelled baklava. Like I've eaten it, but I've never had an oil like that. That's nice. It's creamy, creamy vanilla, like apple cinnamon. If you like apple cinnamon donuts, this one's really smells really good. Now I got this one. Salem got baked. This is pumpkin zucchini bread, pie crust, and apple cider donuts. So almost similar to the one that I just talked about, but this has got a pumpkin zucchini bread and you got the pie crust. And I was thinking, well, maybe it'll change how it is, but it's Salem got baked, another layered. And so, yeah, the pumpkin kind of changes the scent of the zucchini bread. It kind of creams it out a little bit. Um, and that pie crust, you really get the pie crust on cold. That is a good pie crust. I really like that one. I think I like this one better. What was the other one? Yeah, Sugar and Spite. Yeah, I definitely like Salem Got Baked. I like this one better. So if you like zucchini bread, if you like sweet pumpkin and pie crust, this one is really, really good. I think I might get more of that one too. All right, another one, um, and I know Maggie J talks about the, her coffee. Britta's coffee is being like, great. And so I'm not a coffee person, but I was like, let me try it. And I do like wild berry scents or wild berry mousse in a lot of vendors. So this one is coffee and wild berry cheesecake poured on 816, and it's called It's Alive. So I was like, I wanted to try it and kind of get um, like a feel for it. And right off the bat, it's a very good coffee. It is not burnt coffee or like bitter coffee. And that wildberry mousse kind of gives it like a sweeter end. What did I say? Wildberry mousse, wildberry cheesecake. Kind of gives it a, che a creamy coffee feel. That's not bad. Again, I'm not, I have to really, I, I haven't found a coffee scent. I think maybe I just don't like it, but I'm eager to try it out and I'm glad that I gave it a whirl. Um, so I think even if you didn't like coffee scents, you might like that one because it's a sweet coffee, if that makes sense. All right, another one is Gravity Gravity Defying Spook Hill. And I was like, let's try her cupcakes at Tiffany's. This is Autumn Day Gingerbread Cupcakes at Tiffany's and Sugar Cookie Dough poured on 9-6-2023. So three layers. And right off the bat, I get like a fall kind of leaf, really sweet kind of like, um, not spicy, but I don't even know how to describe it. Maybe if that's autumn day, like a cider fall scent. So maybe the, I don't even know what the oil is, but it's autumn day. I'm not really getting much gingerbread. 
I get a hint of cupcakes at Tiffany's, but I'm not getting gingerbread. Maybe that's a sugar cookie dough. That's different. I mean, this is definitely different. It's a bakery with a fall. That's different. That one smells really good, actually. Kind of perfect for this rainy kind of fall day that we're having here. So that is Gravity Defying Spook Hill. And different. It's bakery, but you also get kind of like a fruity kind of autumn scent, if that makes any sense. Almost kind of like cider mill from Scentsy. So if you like cider mill from Scentsy, that's kind of like the top note on it. And then the cookie kind of make the sugar cookie dough kind of rounds it out to be creamy. All right. And the last one I saved it is the pumpkin because this is the only pumpkin that I got. And this is Buddy's Breakfast and it's Fruit Loops, Bubblegum, Cotton Candy Frosting and Blue Raspberry Jolly Rancher. And I don't remember getting this. So something's telling me that I think this was a sample maybe because that's not something I typically would order because I don't like bubblegum, nor do I like Jolly Rancher. So this might be something that she sent for free. I don't know. Um, but nonetheless, if it is free, thank you. I don't know if she normally sends samples. I did not get a pen. I'm kind of disappointed. And this is Buddy's Breakfast Port on 9-13-2023. So if you like Fruit Loops, this is super, super Fruit Loops. Like super sweet. You get the Fruit Loops and you get the bubblegum. Sorry, my legs want to sleep. Yeah, it's just, it's not my jam. I do not like Fruit Loops and I don't like bubblegum. So if anybody's watching, you know who you are, who likes these types of scents, let me know and I would be more than happy to gift it to you. So this is Buddy's Breakfast. If you have to love Fruit Loops and bubblegum for this one. So that's it guys. That was my um, first new to me vendor, Britter's Creepy Treasures haul. Um, like I said, I wanted to try it out. I wanted to start small and actually this is kind of small considering the amount of little shapes that I got. Um, but I do know that she offers a, like souffles as well as loaves. So if you don't, if you want more than just her shapes, you can get a souffle or her loaves. So I thought it was really cute, especially we're getting close to Halloween um, to kind of give her a try. And I figured it would line up perfectly with that. Um, but like I said, check out our website. I don't know what's available. I, like I said, she does pre-orders, but I do know she also does custom orders. Um, if you are able to get in to do that as well. So that's it guys. I want to share that with you today. I hope you enjoyed watching and I hope you have a great one wherever you are. Talk to you soon.